Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year! It's New Year and it's time of the year to what? To file your income tax return. In this video, I will try to give you a clear or basic understanding of Canada's tax system, especially for international students. Most of the benefits people of Canada enjoys are made possible by paying taxes. It pays for the roads, for the schools, for health care, social security, and public safety. Just like many countries, Canada's tax system is the same, where employers and other payers deduct taxes from the income they pay you. And other people with businesses or rental income normally pays their taxes by installment. As an international student, it is important that you know or understand what your rights, your entitlements, and obligations under Canada's tax system. And it is your responsibility to determine what income tax status you have and make sure you pay the required amount of taxes for each year according to the law. Each year, you determine your tax obligation by completing an income and benefit return and sending it to CRA or Canada Revenue agency. Filing an income tax return. The tax year runs from January to December of each year and the deadline to file an income tax return is every April 30th of the year after. So you still have time to get ready. Why you should file an income tax return? International students are more than welcome and encouraged to file an income tax return even though that they don't have any income earned for the year. The CRA or Canada Revenue Agency has so many reasons why you should file an income tax return and you can check it here the list you can check it as well the, the link on my description box below taxes for international students studying in canada as an international student studying in canada you must determine first your residency status to know how you will be taxed and there are four types or categories of uh, residency status as an international student and those residency status is based on your residential ties as well that you have here in Canada. And what are those residential ties? Our residential ties includes a home in Canada, a spouse or common law partner or dependents who move in Canada to live with you, social ties in Canada, a Canadian driver's license, Canadian bank account or credit card, and health insurance with Canadian province or territory. And going back to determining the status or resident status uh, as an international student or how you will be taxed there are four categories that you might fall into first one is a resident of Canada you are a resident of Canada for tax purposes you establish a significant residential ties with Canada second one is a non-resident of Canada you are a non-resident of Canada for tax purposes if you do not establish a residential ties with Canada and you stay in Canada for less than 183 days during the year and the third one is you may be a deemed resident of Canada for tax purposes if you do not meet a significant residential ties with Canada and meet the following conditions as well you stay in Canada in 183 days or more in a calendar year or you are not considered a resident of your home country under the terms of a tax treaty between Canada and that country. And last, you may be considered a deemed non-resident of Canada for tax purposes if you establish a significant residential ties with Canada and are considered a resident of another country or with which Canada has a tax treaty. So as a deemed non-resident, the same rules apply to you as a non-resident of Canada. And if you're looking for a detailed rules for these four types of residency status for tax purposes, you can check my description box below for a link. What is a tax treaty? So Canada has income tax conventions or agreement called or commonly referred to as tax treaties with countries or regions that are listed here. So these are the countries that they are, uh, have a tax treaty with and these tax treaties are designed to avoid double taxation for those who would have otherwise to pay tax in Canada in another country or region on the same income. Generally, tax treaty determine how much each country or region can tax your income. And what are the things to prepare for filing an income tax return? 
Whether you hire an accountant or you complete your own tax return, you'll need to prepare this following documents if applicable. You'll be needing your social insurance number or SIN. And if ever you're not eligible for SIN, needs to apply for ITN or the individual tax number. The second one that you need is the income tax slips like T4 from your employer or that is actually your employment income. And T4A is the income that you receive from scholarship, bursaries, and awards. Third one is your tuition receipt is your T220. To a slip, and yes, you need that because I actually tell you the number of months you attended in your school or in university, and of course, how much you paid for your tuition. So, those C4A and D2202A slip, you can access that on your student service portal, and a school should have that ready for you as well, like for the first week or second week of January. And the next one that you need to have as well, if applicable, is the interest tax slips, the T3 or T5. This is only if ever you made an investment income for a mutual fund. So you have to contact your financial institution to have a copy or request a copy for that if applicable. And you'll be needing your donation receipts if you made a donation or Canadian charity. Medical receipts if you have uh, out-of-pocket medical expenses. You'll be needing your rental receipts from your landlord. Any correspondence from CRA if you have filed taxes in Canada before, including your notice of assessments. And last but not least, you may have other information slips receipts or amounts that you can indicate on your income tax return. So once you have submitted your income tax return, you will receive a response from CRA in a form of a notice of assessment and I suggest to keep any correspondence from CAA from CA <laughs> CRA so once you have submitted your income tax return, you will receive a response from CRA in a form notice of assessment. And I strongly suggest to keep any correspondence from CRA in a safe place for your records for a maximum of like six years if you can, just so you have a document to support any case that may arise. Question is, where to file? You can file your income tax return through Community Volunteer Income Tax Program. So the community organizations host free tax clinic where volunteers may be able to complete and file your income tax return on your behalf for free through a video conferencing, over the phone, or through a modified draft of clinic. And some community organizations as well host a free virtual tax clinics and webinars for newcomers to understand the tax system here in Canada. And to find the there is free tax clinic in your area you can check the link on my description box below and you just have to check that website put your postal code and it should pop up the nearest free tax clinic in your area similar at new brunswick if you're an international student of nbcc or other universities or colleges there will be organizations like multicultural association of new brunswick where they organize or host events and help international students file their taxes you can visit the nb get your benefits website of where a partnership was well with the Community Volunteer Income Tax Program of CRA or Canada Revenue Agency. Another way for you to file for income tax is through tax agencies. If you feel like your tax situation is complicated, then you might need help from these tax agencies like H&R Block, Tax Turbo, well, Simple Tax, and you need like an actual person to speak to and hire an accountant as well. There are accounting firms online and access to, and of course, there will be some fees for like the service that they are providing you, but it should not be that expensive but I would still rather suggest for you to try and go to free tax clinic and another way for you to file an income tax return is to do it yourself. So CRA has a list of free tax software uh, preparation or an application where you can complete and your income tax return online. For helpful resources, guys, I would encourage you to, like as soon as you get your SAN or social insurance number, to register or create an account for CRA for you to view your personal income and benefit information as well as manage your tax affairs online. Affairs, yeah. <laughs> Your account allows you to set up your direct electronic bank deposit for any refunds or benefits that you may receive to keep your personal information, your address, and your banking information up to date with CRA. To create an account with CRA, check this website. You can download the web application as well to easily navigate and view key portions of your tax. Receive an email notification as well from CRA. You can check as well this pamphlet for newcomers to Canada. So to wrap it up, guys, residents of Canada are required to indicate 
any income earned from inside or outside of Canada. So if you have work in another country, your income tax return, including the residency status for tax purposes, may or could be impacted by a tax treaty. And there are free tax clinics in your area that you can take advantage of if you have a simple tax situation. And again, it is absolutely free. And as soon as you have a valid social insurance number, you can create a CRA account on their website. And your account allows you to receive correspondence from CRA to set up a direct electronic bank deposits for any refunds or benefits that you may receive and to keep your personal information up to date with CRA. And in my next video, I will try to share, I'll try my best to share with tax benefits for residents of Canada. And I hope that in this video that I share with you today, I shed some light and guidance as well about tax system here in Canada. And Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying. And don't forget to hit like, comment, and share this video as well. And to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. With much love again, guys. Bye!